Hey everybody, my name is Steve. Welcome to the video. If you're here, you're here for one of two reasons. Number one, you're here because you have a flight controller that is installed upside down on a frame and you want to know how to fix that in Betaflight. Number two, you might be here because you're watching my Race Day Quads Joshua Bardwell F7 build and you were expecting video seven. Well, if that's the case and you don't have this frame, please feel free to just skip this video and go on to video seven. Uh, if you do happen to have this frame, stick around though, and I'm gonna be calling this video 6.1 for purposes of the playlist. Let's move on. Okay, so why the need for this video in the first place? Well, we don't have to go any further than this image right here, right here in the bottom left. Uh, this is why I have to make this video in the first place. Uh, if you follow the directions for this particular frame, and I'm sure there are others out there like it, and you build this up. At first glance, you would think that this right here was the bottom plate, and then of course we've got our 4 one ESC, and then we've got our flight controller stacked on top of it. All right, but take a look at this shape and this shape, and take a look at this picture. There's the one, there's the other. This is actually the top plate, and our flight controller and our 4 one ESC are actually hanging from it upside down. So let's discuss how we're gonna handle this situation in Betaflight. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug in my flight controller. Like so, connect. Check it out, our quad's upside down. And you're thinking to yourself, well, let's just go ahead and cali calibrate the accelerometer. Oh, but that fixes everything, right? And we'll reset our Z-axis. Ah, Problem solved, right? Well, what, watch what happens when we pitch up. When we pitch up, it pitches down and vice versa. All right, you know, roll is still okay. And yaw is still okay. But we gotta get this thing fixed. So how do we get this fixed? We're gonna go over to configuration. And essentially what we did was we rolled our flight controller 180 degrees. So we have to tell Betaflight that we did that. And I'm gonna go ahead and save and reboot. Here's our quad right here. Go ahead and hit calibrate again. Reset the Z-axis for good measure. And when I pitch up, it pitches up. And when I pitch down, it pitches down. And when I roll, everything is exactly the way it should be. But let's go take a look at our motor situation. All right, so we are on the motors tab right now. And I want you to pay close particular attention to the fact that the props are off they are off. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this for you, saying that you understand the risks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say right now that uh, you should never ever have your props on while you're working on your quad on the bench. You may think that you're in control at first, and then nothing might happen, but then you'll get complacent, and at some point down the road, you're gonna have a situation where the motors spin up, and uh, if you're unlucky, you'll end up in the emergency room. Uh, if you're lucky, you might just need a a few band-aids but um, props off for this okay props off all right so in order to do this I've got to go ahead and add power and now I'm gonna go ahead and select this and now I can turn my motors on and all my motors spin so yay it's a party but no it's not a party cuz watch watch what happens um, motor one is now motor three well, what about motor three Oh, it's it's now motor one. What about two? Two is four, and four is two. And why is that? That's because the flight controller is upside down. If the flight controller were right side up, like it is right now, so the flight controller is now right side up. Look, this is number one, right here. This is number one right here. So, what we've got to do is we've got to reassign the motors. And the place that we're going to reassign the motors is in the CLI. So if we go to the CLI and we type in resource, you will see that motor one is assigned to something called CO8 and so on. It's CO8, CO6, CO9, CO7. So essentially what we've got to do is we've got to flip flop these assignments. We've got to move CO8 to three, CO9 back to one, and then do this flip-flop two and four as well 
If we do that in short, it's probably going to look something like this. Motor one's going to be nine, seven, eight, six. Okay, but we can't just type this into the CLI. Uh, we have to free them up first. So there's a couple of more uh, lines that we have to add. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and then I'm going to copy it. And look like this. Like so. All right, these first four commands will free the motors up for reassignment, and then these will reassign them. So let's go take a look at what that might look like. If I go ahead and say save, and this is called motors flipped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and load from file and go to flipped. And here, this is the commands that it's gonna give. It's gonna free them up and then flip them. So let's go ahead and hit execute. And it frees them up. And then it re and then it reassigns them. And then I have to hit save. And it'll reboot. And then reconnect. And then if I go to the CLI and I type the word resource. And then I come up here, I've got nine, seven, eight, and six. So they've been reassigned. So I'm good there. I can go back to motors. All right, so now on the motor screen, we've got to make sure that our props are off. Props are off because I'm plugging in battery. And my battery's plugged in. I understand the risks. I'm clicking right here. All right, so let's go ahead and see how our motors are doing. Motor one, down in this corner, spinning clockwise. Good. Motor three, did it get reassigned? Motor three, spinning counterclockwise. Motor two, counterclockwise. And motor four, spinning clockwise. All good stuff. All right, I'm going to unselect this box right here, and I'm going to go back to setup. All right, so let's check this out right here. We've got pitch. It's pitching correctly, it's rolling correctly, and it's yawing correctly. So all of that is good. Our motors are being fired up on the right arms, and they're spinning in the right direction. And from this information, I'm going to go ahead and ascertain that this thing will now fly correctly. So we're up and we're flying and we're good. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're watching the Race Day Quads Bardwell series, um, please see a link in the description uh, for the entire playlist. You can find uh, video seven there. I'm Steve, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.